Hello friends, I'm Moom and today we're diving into the fantastic world of Nets again and see the development and new updates and features of Cosmic Desktop Environment. So, let's get started. Well, the first and major news is that following the trend of ARM implementation, System76 is doing the same thing. They're building ARM64 packages for PopOS 24.04 which is an upcoming release in which we'll get to see Cosplay Desktop Environment for the first time. And then finally, they have completed the development of their App Store. The ultra-fast Cosmic App Store is nearly implemented and all that's left for the Alpha is to polish it up with some minor UX issues. And then there's a statement from the CEO of System76 about this App Store. He says, I've used the terminal to update system for years, but the Cosmic App Store is so fast and lays out the information so well that I found it's more efficient to update via the app instead of command line. And I agree with him. The Cosmic App Store is so fast and responsive. I just love it. Like, I barely use Terminal for installing applications. But that's not the only thing which is updated. Cosmic Files. GNOME Virtual File System. Its integration was added for handling external storage, such as flash drives or network shares. Meanwhile, a new context menu in Files Navigation has also been added, which is really helpful. And if we are talking about application updates, then how can you forget amazing applications made by the community of Cosmic? Here we have a Cosmic Web App Manager made by Pyodel or 11H Soft, I guess, which is in the process of adding to Flathub, but this really looks amazing. Through so this, we can add PWA apps or I should say web pages as applications in the desktop. And I must say, the applications built for Cosmic Desktop Environment are really great. And just as the web app manager, we have another application, Input Source Applet, made by Dominic or LibQchen, which allows quick accessing to adjust keyboard layouts and setting. And as the name says, it's an applet. And then there are some other updates as well. The major update is the drag and drop feature. The ability to drag and drop text and images has been finally added to Cosmic Files. But there are still few compositor bugs here and there, so yeah, they'll be fixed as well. And finally, clipboard support has been implemented for both the launcher and the app library. And as you know, the amazing theming support in Cosmic, there were a few bugs and glitches here and there, especially with the custom light mode theme, which are now fixed and icon themes have finally added to the app library. And there are some other fixes and features too, such as screenshots are finally working on scale displays. And the support for nested pop-ups has always been added to the iced stick backend of Lip Cosmic. And then there's a major update in mirroring. The ability to mirror the displays is finally finished, or nearly finished, including the cases with different resolutions, orientations, and refresh rates which are different than other displays to mirror. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for daily dose of awesome Linux content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm home, signing off.